Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. For our pay site here on YouTube, Dwyer Sports Betting, one word, right? Uh, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News, the vanity code is Dwyer Boxing News, one word. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There's a fight happening right now. The odds look completely out of whack, but I believe there's only one outcome that can happen from this fight. It's the Richland Provodnikov versus Jose Luis Castillo fight. Understand, this Castillo is the same Castillo who used to be Julio Cesar Chavez's sparring partner back in the day and who had an epic series of matches against Diego Corrales. Right? Understand his fight style of trying to get inside and throwing looping bombs and stuff like that doesn't age well. You need to put an expiration date on the boxing styles you see. If you're trying to be the toughest man in the ring and you're trying to take big punches while doling out big punches, that works in your 20s. That doesn't work in your 30s, right? The Ricky Hatton style of fighting, quite frankly, gets you out of the ring and ends your career earlier, not later. Now, I don't know why Castillo continues to fight, but he's a sitting duck for Richland Pavotnikov. Right? This is that rare fight where I'm not even going to hedge it. I'm just going to take one side. He's the overwhelming favorite in the fight, Richland Pavotnikov, and to beat the casino and to get around these hopelessly long odds. Right? The only prop I'm recommending for this fight is Pavotnikov by KO. Understand, Pavotnikov just got jobbed against Chris Algieri. Knocks Algieri down twice, has the title, somehow loses the decision. Right? One judge has him far ahead. The other two judges don't see it that way. The fight takes place in New York City, Algeria's backyard. Right? Well, Provodnikov, as you can imagine, wants to redeem himself. He wants to get back on top as quickly as possible. He wants to, as I like to say, make a statement. And he has the perfect guy to make the statement against. Right? Castillo is a guy who's going to stand in front of Provodnikov who's going to try to duke it out with him. The problem, though, is Castillo's reflexes, in my opinion, have dimmed considerably. His punch resistance has dimmed considerably. When you're judging older fighters, those are the things you need to think about, right? And he doesn't have, <clears throat> let's say, the boxing style to keep a fighter off of him. In other words, he's not Vladimir Klitschko. Provodnikov's not going to have to deal with a great jab and a guy who's tall and knows how to use length, right? No, Provodnikov is going to be in his face from pretty much the opening bell. So I only see one outcome here. Understand, whenever you're only betting one outcome, the risk is heightened. Provodnikov could dominate the fight like Manny Pacquiao dominated his fight against Algeria and not get the knockout. Right? But I suspect that when older fighters get drilled a few times and have hit the canvas a few times, they know when to say where. Right? Castillo has been knocked out in the past. I don't think Castillo is going to try to make a statement by going the distance. I like Richland Pavotnikov by KO in this fight. Castillo will show up to win. <clears throat> the problem is Castillo is facing a younger lion who hits harder than him and who has better reflexes and who also was trying to make a statement. I'm expecting Pavotnikov here to prevail by KO. Right? Don't pay the 100 to 1 odds on Pavotnikov to win the fight. You want to do better than that. You want to get better odds by picking Pavotnikov and the outcome. I believe that outcome will be Pavotnikov by knockout. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.